Hey, gun people. They're cutting the um, paper center signs out here, and I figured I would let you kind of watch the laser cutter do its little job. Um, I'll put in the place that's doing it. He told me I'd go ahead and videotape it. So, cut the signs out. And that's what it looks like. That's pretty spiffy. Now, this is a laser. Last time they did it on a plasma cutter. But this was a laser. Um, and I noticed on the laser, it, these, it tends to be a little bit smoother. The plasma cutter, if one of you guys ordered one the last time and I sent it to you, it was a uh, rougher cut. These laser cuts look a lot smoother. So, I want to watch that big circular cut. pretty sharp. <laughs> I like it. Now what do you have to do to these after we cut them? I don't do anything. Sometimes I'll cut them, uh, I'll paint them um, red, white, and blue. Or just blue, depending on what somebody wants. I just got a YouTube channel and uh, some of my guys, I just made them today. If you want some, I'll go have them cut. And oh, so you got to pull it out when it cuts it, huh? Yeah. Oh. And the parts will flip up sometimes and it hits that head. Oh. Stop the machine. Okay, so that, okay, the little magnet there stops it from falling. What do you think it's 50? Wow, that's pretty stinking spiffy. All right, I just wanted to show you this machine cutting it. We'll uh, end up there. Just got another little piece of info here. Uh, this thing will not cut grass or copper because the light reflects it off of that. The light just reflects off, it doesn't cut through. I had no idea. I'm sitting here bullshit with a guy running the machine. He's giving me all this info. <laughs> And uh, so anyway, that, that's pretty cool. I, I figure it would just cut through anything you put in there, but uh, I'm surprised they don't make these out of copper. They do, but I mean, they wear out so fast. Oh, if they were copper, they wear out. them, we just cut them out of metal and then just keep replacing them. Oh, okay. I'll probably go uh, six months before I have to replace them. Ah, uh, okay. So if you turn it full power, would it cut all the way through there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. We need to cut some shit up. <laughs> All right. I'll add that in. It's cutting off. I'll let y'all watch this one final circle here. Kind of cool machine. Just light. I think he said, what, do you, what are the tanks back there? Uh, what are the tanks? Uh, nitrogen? Nitrogen, helium, and carbon. Nitrogen, helium, and carbon? Okay. Those are three different gases that are fed in? Is that the blue and red hose, or no? Oh. This is uh, cooling the water system to keep the lenses cool. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. We're going to end that there, unless I get some new info. I thought this was interesting on that, uh, how thin and close it gets. Well, that laser is just precise. Here's some of the other things they cut um, on how precise that laser is. Pretty cool. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a come and take it flag or a uh, don't tread on me flag or the snake symbol. Um, we'll see what you guys think in the comments on what else we can get laser cut. <laughs> okay, so I had to turn it back on here. Uh, somebody asked me what happens to the laser when it goes through, and I didn't know. Because if it was laser, you'd think it goes straight down to China and cut a hole. 
but they turn the power up and down depending on the thickness. So this is 14 gauge, and I guess the thickest it'll cut is about 3 eighths. I guess when it was new, it would cut a half. Here's what it'll cut through now, that size steel, versus, you know, these little things, 14 gauge. So I wanted to add that in. Okay, that'll do it with the laser cuts. Uh, some of these are painted. I'll put a link to the original that explains if you want to order one of these. Um, again, watch that video and it'll explain how, how you get one. Like I said, he just cut some more. Um, I think you ought to probably paint them yourself when you get them. Only because it slides around in the box when I ship them to you. But if you want me to paint them and the weather's good, I'll try to get you the painted color. Uh, I'm out of the square ones now, so all I have is the round ones. Anyway, we'll end that there. Hope you enjoyed the laser cut.